going to do a real quick fleet feast for breakfast now this is pretty standard this is bacon and eggs cooked in my rig the only uh, unique feature I'm gonna call it is I use the pre-cooked bacon uh, you know cooking bacon is messy and I have cooked it a few times uh, in my rig and it's messy uh, and so I discovered the pre-cooked bacon uh, actually a guy I was traveling with for a while he kind of turned me on to it and what I use is this is your standard Walmart brand this is three dollars and you get uh, this is their thick so you get ten slices ten thick slices of bacon for three dollars they used to have thin sliced and you used to get 15 pieces and that was like under three dollars it was like two dollars and 89 cents this is three dollars it was three dollars and six cents at the last uh, walmart i was at and you get 10 pieces i throw it in the frying pan just to get it sizzling and then take it out throw it on a paper plate and that is just like fresh cooked bacon um, I've taken it right out of the package and like put it on a sandwich like a turkey sandwich Without putting it in the frying pan and that works too because it is already cooked So I'm gonna make up uh, bacon and eggs real quick using the pre-cooked bacon So this comes in a, a sealed package in here and that's what you get um, you know, it's still got all the, the bacon fat and all that on it, so when you put it in the frying pan, it starts sizzling up just like you're cooking fresh bacon. This has a little corner separated here that you can use to peel it open, usually. Yeah, we got it. So they have a piece of wax paper in between the, the layers here. So... I'm gonna pull out and I'm gonna go whole hog on this. I'm gonna do five pieces. And yes, he will get some. Oh, really? You smell something? <laughs> Who doesn't love bacon? Oh, my goodness. You want to eat the whole paper? Hmm? Oh, is that good? Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, at least there's some on the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, good boy. I don't like to let anything go to waste. Better, I better not find you with your nose in that garbage can later. All right, let's get this fired up. Get the rest of this thrown back in here and back in the fridge. Yes, that's very full. 
I turned down the ceiling fan so you guys can hear this. You see that sizzling up? And I'm going to call that done. Okay. And now I'm going to do uh, sunny side up eggs. That's my favorite. I like them kind of nice and loose. My daughter doesn't like loose eggs, but she's still young, so... I think when she grows up more, she'll like them loose. Wow, that's a hard shell. Side benefit to doing this, the uh, eggs get to fry in the bacon grease, which in my experience is the best way to cook eggs. Better than butter. There's something about the way they cook and the flavor of cooking the eggs in the bacon grease. Now, if you've cooked sunny side up eggs, you gotta put the flame down really low. Oh, oh, somebody just went and nose the trash can. All right, let's get these put back in the fridge. Now, I don't know if any of you have experience, but from what I understand, you can actually store eggs not in the refrigerator. Now, I've never done that. It just kind of doesn't seem right, but I've seen people that just store their eggs up in the cupboard. You know, as long as you eat them in a timely manner. Do any of you have experience storing your eggs outside of the refrigerator? Leave a comment for me because if you say, yeah, it's no problem, then I'll go ahead and do it because these take up a lot of space. Uh, 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 hey, 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 no, no better. Yeah. I'm gonna do a uh, Bolt House Farms Berry Boost. I love these things. Get some YouTube playing up here. And no, I'm not gonna watch my own videos. Maybe we'll watch a little Matt's off-road recovery. I mean, we're right in his neck of the woods. I should go get myself stuck and give him a call. That is a great frying pan. It's non-stick has not worn off at all compared to other ones I've had. This is the best. Oh, hello. Uh, dude, can I help you with something? You guys sit. <laughs> that smells so good. And your mouth watering. <laughs> his, his mouth is watering. I can see him. Oh my goodness. Because he knows. He loves eggs and he loves bacon. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's so good. Because I have such a poor diet, this is how I get my fruit. Oh yeah, I could have taken these out a minute earlier actually. There we go. You notice that uh, my new table is higher up. It's better for computer work, but that means my chair here is a little bit low when I'm eating. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. I'm not going to be able to talk anymore. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and plow down on this. Try the pre-cooked bacon. For cooking in a rig, I think you can't beat it for convenience and no mess. 
So we've been trying to work on the banana and do it justice, but things just keep coming up. The first thing that happened is Eric. Woke up this morning, made my coffee, went to get my creamer out of the refrigerator, and when I opened the lid, I smelled like pickle smell. And so I start going through my mind, you know, what, what do I have in the refrigerator that's pickle type stuff? And I do have a jar of pickles. Actually, my favorite famous Dave's signature spicy pickle chips. Love these things. If you like bread and butter type pickles, try these out. You can find them at a lot of Walmarts. Um, I started buying these back in New York at a local uh, East Coast grocery store called Wegmans, but I have subsequently found them uh, in some Safeways and in some Walmart. So if you see these and you like bread and butter, you will like these. So I found that jar and it was totally sealed. And while I was looking for that, I saw what the culprit was. You all know I'm heavy on the uh, tacos. Well, I got these, um, pickled jalapenos and you see how empty that is as far as liquid well yesterday when I made tacos the liquid was up to about here this was laying this had tipped over and even though the lid is on obviously not a liquid seal lid and all of this juice poured into the bottom of the refrigerator so while I love my tacos with my pickled jalapenos, I don't like that. You can see that juice there. So <laughs> the smell coming out of the refrigerator right now is pretty strong. So I'm going ahead and uh, pulling everything out. These here, I'm going to wipe the bottom off. I don't think that they got juice on them this stuff definitely didn't these uh you know because they sit on this rack but if it was deep enough uh the bottoms will touch it and plus right in this area where the jar had tipped anything that was in this area is going to be covered in it so i'm going to get this finished up and get everything back in the fridge before it gets warm today my coach tony's Oh, definitely got wet. Well, I got that rinsed off with the outside water jug pretty well. Let's see what we got here. Well, you can see that the truck is slanted forward a little. And then that's the drain plug right there. Um, so what I'll do is sop all this up and then pop that drain plug out, which is the lowest point, and make sure it's all cleaned out. Oh, you don't want that stuff, buddy. Nope. <laughs> Look out. Ah. Nomad's favorite tool, paper towels. Okay, that's much better. All right, I got some uh, cleaner here. I'm gonna try to. Knock the odor off. Got that drain plug out. Get it wiped off real good. Nice and wet. The refrigerator's running. Better go catch it. <laughs> oh, when I was a kid, I remember making those prank phone calls. Uh.
people would answer. Say, so hi, is your, uh, we're calling from the power company, is your refrigerator running? And they'd say yes, and if we'd held it together long enough, we could try to choke out, well, you better go catch it! Now, mind you, this is back when you had uh, landline telephones and pretty much everybody's phone number was in the phone book. So you could look up the kid who you didn't like and call his parents' house or his house and make a prank phone call. Probably hard for younger people to relate to those days, but that's what it was like back then. All right, we're clean. Let me get that cage. Yeah, I got this rinsed off really well out there. Okay. I'm going to go through a lot of water today. But we've got to run into town in the next couple days to pick up some packages so I'm not concerned about using up my water all right well I think we've got it back together uh, we are full uh, you know I just did grocery shopping so what I've been doing uh, I put the I put the ice co on max cool during the day when the sun is on the panels see it just bumped up to 48 I've got it set at right around 40 41 maybe I think but I just switched it over to max cool so while there's plenty of solar power, I keep it on max, and then when we get into the evening and the temperatures drop, I put it back down to economy. And that might not seem like a big thing to do, but during the night, uh, the freezer and the refrigerator, the, you know, they use the power during the night, and if I can cut down on that power usage, my batteries like me. Now once I get new batteries hopefully installed, I'm still, my budget didn't call for, uh, didn't allow for new batteries so soon. I was expecting them to last longer, but so I'm trying to shuffle around to see if I can't get new batteries. Um, so, but until then, I've got to make the best use of my gel batteries that I can and if I can lower that power usage overnight, they're going to last that much longer. So, All right, I'm going to get this finished up. It looks like uh, the refrigerator is full again, back running. These kind of things happen. Uh, That's the second time I've had uh, a food leak inside the refrigerator. It's the second time I've had to take it all out like that and clean it. But it's good to get everything out and get it clean. So it's not, you know, it's not so bad. 15 minutes and I'm done. But, you know, same kind of stuff that can happen if you live in a house, something leaks in, in your refrigerator, same kind of thing happens out here. So, the glorious, uh, the glorious life of living in a vehicle. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see y'all again really soon. There you go. All right. Hopefully. Gosh, I hope that's... Should I tip it over and make sure it's sealed? It's okay, bud. We are hunkered up under this little shelter here because it's raining pretty good. It's just a nasty day. You know what? It still looks really pretty, right? This um, red rock that they spread on the roads here looks really nice when it gets wet. But tell me that's not a pretty picture right there. Even though it's raining.
So I was hoping it was gonna let up a little bit and then we could make our run back to the truck, but it seems to just be getting worse. <laughs> so we're gonna end up getting wet. We're here at this, uh, these are some um, pit toilets here and the little parking lot and this little shelter with some information about how to how to take a safe trip out here in the wild things you should carry with you don't let that happen to you yeah he's got it figured out we're just hanging out well I think we're just gonna put our heads down and make a run for it. We're not far from the truck really right here. So, we'll get a little bit wet. <laughs> 